Good morning. Currently around 5.14 a.m. And you definitely can't tell. But it is raining outside right now. And it is Monday. So that's not the best start to the week. But I decided I'm going to do a full day in the life. Show you guys what a normal college day looks like for me. And just walk you through how I try to do a little bit of everything today. Per usual, we're up pretty early. I'm going to take some time. Post it on my desk and um, show you guys how I go through setting up the desk. But first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just get some water in the system. Wake the body up like we talked about last video. But as I said, beautiful. It does not look like the rain is gonna stop anytime soon. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to like record during my run, but we're still going to go ahead and do it. When it comes to planning out my day, I love to use the app Notion. This is where I keep everything organized. As you can see, I'll kind of go through, do some daily reflections, look over all the things I want to do in the day, what the big item for the day of like the weekly to-do list is, um, some business work, cardio, lifting, content, coaching, finance. It's all right there, so... That's where we're going to start out today. Going to kind of go through there. After that, going to stretch. And then I'll probably meet up with you guys before I stretch. So we'll be good. Also, real quick, regarding the uh, daily reflection, I really want to put an emphasis on, like, being grateful for people and, like, opportunities in my life. So instead of just kind of, like, spewing whatever I want, I try to think of, like, a person that I'm very grateful for or two. Um something about myself that I'm grateful for because I think like, that's important. It's just like reflecting on self-image and being like, hey, like this is something I'm proud of. Uh, and then a challenge I'm grateful for. So like something that I'm currently struggling with, but like no workout in the end because it always does. Uh, like what is that? Like what do I want to acknowledge? So try it out for yourself if you want to. All right, day is looking good. Three classes, one client. Uh, 10 mile run before class, leg day after class. Right now, I'm gonna post up, go through my quick morning stretching routine that I've been doing. It's only like 10 minutes long, so I'll just show you guys clips of like what exercises I do and maybe through the time that I do it for. And then I think I'm just gonna start warming up and get ready to run. Like we said, it's not gonna stop raining anytime soon. I gotta get this done before class, so we're just gonna top it out. hear how much it's raining out there but nonetheless we're gonna go run so I'll catch up with you guys after the 10 miles when I'm drenched out of the things I wanted to do like today that was not one of them but the thing is I started out running first three miles it was downpour I was drenched I was like this absolutely fucking sucks and I wanted to stop but second three miles I was just like okay I'm already in this. I might as well just kind of embrace it for a little bit. And like by mile five, the rain lightened up. And then like the last kind of four miles, there was no rain. It was just like very smooth running. And honestly, I think I'll use that as a metaphor for life and just get philosophical for a sec. Whereas like sometimes you have to do something and you go into it with this mindset and the circumstances aren't right. And you're like, this is gonna be horrible. I'm not gonna enjoy this. But if you just like, embrace it for a little bit and be like okay this is what i have to do this is what i know i should be doing then you can kind of surpass and realize hey maybe the situation's not that bad maybe things are going to improve maybe things are going to get better and guess what they always get better in the end and you always feel better after you go through them just some 
Monday morning banter. I don't know. I'm gonna hop in the shower and make some breakfast. Current time is 8.09 a.m. My first class is at 9. I'm probably gonna leave here at 8.30, 8.35-ish. So I'm gonna make some breakfast right now. If you guys watched last video, it's gonna be the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna cut to it. Um, after breakfast though, I'm probably just gonna head out of here. And the rain is still going a little bit. I kind of lied, it, it was just lightly raining. It didn't stop entirely, but it felt like it stopped because it was raining so hard before. Um, so I think I might just end up cutting a clips of me like on campus or like near class. But we'll see, maybe, I, you know, I'll get a few rainy wall clips, why not? Also post run. Enjoying some raw bum hydrate. This is the fruit punch flavor. Easily the best flavor. Beauty. And it is 8.28. So I kind of got to eat this fast. It's chill. I think my professor usually starts class like five minutes late anyway. So first class today is principles of athletic coaching. Second class is stress management. And third class is health, culture, and lifestyle. So pretty good day. But I'm going to enjoy this. And then throw on a sweatshirt. And we'll head out. I was so ready to head out for class, and then I had an email that my professor canceled the class because of the rain. I swear, people in California, man, I, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and record a little product video for Revive's new product, which is, if it can focus, yep, some theanine. This is important for improving brain function and just overall mental fatigue, because the main, pro or the main I guess, ingredient is L-theanine, and ultimately this product is just to help out calm your central nervous system, get you out of that sympathetic kind of flight or f fight or flight state, and kind of chill you out a little bit more of the parasympathetic, relax so that you can sleep well, and just overall control your cortisol levels a little bit better. So yeah, I'm gonna record that video. And then after that video, I'll probably do the like worksheet I was assigned for my class. This is weird, senior in college and I'm getting a worksheet? I don't know, whatever, man. So I realized that the way that I'm walking to the second class now, stress management, is the exact same way that I walked in my last video. So I'm just gonna cut to like, when I'm posting in the class. Before I cut to the clips of me walking in the rain, I wanted to take a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, BetterHelp, an online therapy company that I think could be very beneficial for myself and other individuals out there. I think there are like several reasons why being a college student, especially now, is a pretty stressful experience. For one, you got big exams and classwork all the time. With social media, I also feel like there's like an overwhelming need to constantly be doing something, whether it be going out or just like being involved in as much as possible. It's always like do, 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 go nonstop. The list goes on really. And I feel like especially at bigger universities such as USC, it could be difficult sometimes to get in contact with a mental health counselor or a licensed psychologist provided by the school because there are just so many individuals on a campus. And that's where I think better help comes in and really saves the day. The process of connecting with a therapist through BetterHelp has never been made easier thanks to it being entirely remote and online. You fill out a questionnaire and about 48 hours after doing so, uh, you will be paired with a licensed psychologist and they will be able to help you talk through the many chaos and challenges that come with college and school as a whole. I also think it's not always the easiest to talk to your friends at school about your mental health or what you're going through. So having an outlet like BetterHelp, which provides you with someone to talk about those type of things, um, I think it's just very beneficial. If you feel like you could benefit from a platform like BetterHelp or talking to a licensed therapist, you are more than welcome to use my link right here or go ahead and click the link in the description to get matched with your licensed therapist today and to start improving your mental well being. I really want to emphasize that there is never any shame in admitting that you need to talk to someone about something that's on your mind. Always, always, always choose to talk about what you're going through, share your struggles, I can't emphasize it enough. So thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video as well as for providing an outlet to help change and improve other people's lives. All right, now that's done, let's get to the rain. Stress management is done. I'm just in a random empty classroom. About to hop on my client call. I really hope I don't get booted out of here. That would be super unfortunate.
good for the day. Time to head home. All right, current time is 1.50. I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym, but before I do go, I'm gonna have just our classic oats, um, which I make pretty much every day. You can watch the last video. Walked like through everything in it. And for this one, I did the cookies and cream isolate protein powder from Raw. First time like really using it, past two days. I like it a lot. Might be my new favorite flavor. I like cookies and cream in general, but that with the oats, with the chocolate, greens, and the collagen, it just like combines together really well. So pretty stoked about that. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of eat that. Maybe check some email stuff over it, but the plan is to get to the gym around 2.40. I'm doing legs today, but like since I am less than two weeks out from my marathon, I'm doing like a modified leg day. So a lot of it's like a mix of like single leg stuff. A lot of it's like a mix of mobility. You'll see when we get there. It's not just going to be like the traditional squat, front squat, RDL. Like we'll vary it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to post it right now. Enjoy my food. And then when we're getting ready, getting pre-workout, that's when I'll catch up. Already, it is time to go lift. Dryer's going crazy. Um, Pre-workout stack is the uh, raspberry lemonade pump and then the orange essential pre-workout from Raw. And then I'm also taking my vitamins right now because I forgot to earlier. So multivitamin from Revive, ashwagandha from Revive, omega-3 from Revive, and then just came in the mail today. Probiotic. You know it's bad when you wear a hat all day and your hair just gets like super flat to your head. It happens. But we're headed to the gym right now. I'm a tad bit nervous for this drive because the rain and no one in LA knows how to live when it rains. I swear, it just people lose their mind. But I think after the gym, I might go to Trader Joe's, grab a few items, and that's all I really have planned for the rest of the day. I mean, I'm gonna do a bunch of career stuff, looking for jobs and whatnot, but I almost just hit that guy. Probably shouldn't be talking to the camera while doing this, huh? But yeah, definitely a chill Monday, which um, can't complain about. Cancel class, homework already done. A lot of good going on. But yeah, I'm gonna focus on driving before I accidentally hit another person, and then I will catch up with you guys at the gym.
we are back. So after the gym, I ended up stopping at the house, grabbing dinner. They had rice, meatballs, you know, everything you saw. It was just kind of like a Mediterranean dinner. But yeah, it's not even six o'clock and that's really everything I wanted to get done today. I'm going to try to just get ahead on work, like I kind of mentioned before, because with it being Monday and not having a lot to do, why not get ahead a little bit? I also think since it's early, I'm gonna call my parents. Always show love to your parents. Always do it. It's always a good thing. But yeah, if there's anything else that happens in the next few hours, I'll update you guys. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, even like before I had the oats, I had a Bear Rails protein bar. So just to keep updated with the whole like full day beating. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and do a scoop of Revive's magnesium right now and just sip on that for a little bit. Wow. I get done with work. Just trying to give you guys everything that I actually do in a day. All right, just giving you all the updates. And it is now the next day. I really didn't do anything. I've just been doing a lot of career work and trying to figure out what I want to do after college. I think it's a very real thing that a lot of people don't necessarily talk about is that kind of stress to have it figured out where as soon as you graduate, you go immediately into a job. It has been weighing on my own mental health a little bit. And that's why I haven't been, you know, the most active on my social media platforms. But like always, I try and keep it very real on here. Very real with all of you guys that watch. So that's where we're at. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and end off a pretty chill day in life, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot more chaotic, but cancel the class. Pretty nice leg day because I'm trying to stay light. We're less than two weeks out from the marathon, which is unreal. But if you want to support me, use code HOP on Raw, Revive, Gymshark, or Helomix products. If you want to support any of the socials, they're all linked down below. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and end it for today's video. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.